Let's see if we can remember the distributive property. Do you guys remember? So you're not going to say anything now. Fine. The distributive property means I'm going to distribute this multiplication here of A, of this term A, I distribute that to everything that's in the denominator. That means to every term in the denominator. Or not, did I say denominator? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Just forget it. Start over. When I distribute, I distribute across every term that's in the parentheses here. Make sure you understand that addition and subtraction will separate your terms. Okay. Multiplication acts as a glue that keeps things stuck together. So when I distribute here, I get A times B, and I get A times C. That's the distributive property. I think we've seen this before. We can use this and just do problems. If I have 7 times 2x minus 4y, what's going to happen here if I distribute? You multiply 7 times. I get 7 times 2x, which is what? That's 14x, and then I take 7 times the other term, which is a minus 4y. What is that? It's a negative 28y. Is this amazing? Just to let you guys know that later on this semester, we'll be taking this guy right here, and we'll be going backwards to this. Actually, something even better than this. It's called factoring. Factoring is... Fantastic. At least that's what they tell me. So let, let's take this distributive property and let's use this to simplify some expressions. Understand that what we have here are expressions. We are not solving anything. We're just taking the information that's given to us, taking the problem in the expression given to us. and we're going to simplify it. So here's this problem. If you want to see the result, stick around after the break. <laughs>